given the position of the sun, I'm guessing that uh, it's quarter past three, so that must be sort of southwest here. Yes, based on where the light's bouncing off your head, I think yeah, it's, it's quarter past three. Forehead. Ha ha ha, put me in a greenhouse. Welcome to Barrington Court. One of the best things to do is to film the first moment when you enter a walled garden for the very first time, so watch me, watch my face. <laughs> yeah. Um, lovely borders hit you, but what's really getting me is the, um, the cordons on that east-facing wall over there. Let's have a little look at those first up. This plant is absolutely covered in little fruits. That's going to need a lot of thinning out. Mm. I'm really interested in fruit tree underplanting at the moment. And I see they've got primroses and poppies. Underplanting. 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 What do you think about the pears? I really like them. I mean, with these single cordons, they've got a certain intensity to them because it almost looks like they've been blown by a gale, so they're kind of going at this angle. But, um, and you can see why it's been done to maximise the height on the wall here and probably to make it a bit more accessible to reach in to the foliage and grab your ripe pear, or almost ripe pear, if you're um, exercising good storage methods. Today we're coming from the kitchen garden here at Barrington Court. On our panel of experts, we have Christine Gray. You probably can't hear this, but um, Paul Green, just taking a moment, a soaking up the uh, avenue here, whilst listening to a very kindly provided radio the by the writer, National Trust here. Lovely um, bit of installation. Yeah, a nice bit of sound design here, which is something else I have a minor interest in, aside from the walled garden. And our first um, comes what I'm really from... enjoying about this Hello, garden is um, the height of the walls, which are lower than most of the gardens we visit and feel a bit more achievable for the slightly less professional gardener. Um, I wonder if they're doing a bit of a wildflower orchard combo here. They're certainly not hard mowing it, which is nice to see. There's few pleasures in life as nice as <laughs> having a little swing under a copper beech tree. Whoa, <laughs> one being followed. Followed round the corner. <laughs> So let's go and have a little look through here. A nice little hedge uh, clearing. Perfect width for me. And it's a car park. Classic National Trust. The paths marked out. We are left with a space in each corner which must inevitably be a flower bed. But a bed of 30 feet long by 10 narrow is perhaps the merest trifle attenuated and out of proportion. Very well. Make it two beds by driving another path through the middle. It'll be all the more convenient for attending to the flowers. <laughs> <laughs>